Hey everyone, sorry about cutting the video short uh, yesterday. My uh, phone actually ran out of memory, so I had to just stop the recording basically. Um, and I was just done for that day. But last time I was talking about how I took Okinawan karate and uh, I did that for four years. Um, and uh, I didn't do any martial arts after that until I was 21. Because uh, when I graduated from university uh, at 20 years old with my bachelor's in mechanical engineering, I couldn't find a job for like eight months. My first job, I got it, uh, well, I'm still there. Uh, I got it in August 2011, and I graduated December 2010. So that whole time I was just sitting at home, applying for jobs, trying to make my resume better. But uh, I went on like something like 16 interviews uh, in the time that I was waiting uh, to finally get a job. And I was just going crazy because my mom was also out of work because uh, she's a teacher and uh, they had a lot of layoffs. She ended up getting her job and she still is teaching and uh, she'll retire in a couple years from now. Um, but I was just going crazy. Uh, we were just both home and I don't know, like you'd think that uh, you'd be uh, like happy to not be doing anything, but I'm the kind of person that needs to do something. So, I mean, uh, with just the money that I had saved up um, from, you know, just like allowances and doing things, um, I ended up uh, having um, uh, a membership at, at this little garage um that this guy had, uh, it kind of sounds funny when I put it that way, uh, but basically it was a class that he led out of his garage and he did boot camps and um, uh, mixed martial arts like uh, Muay Thai kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I was doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, while I was looking for a job. Um, and that was really cool. I learned a lot of stuff. I mean, I hadn't been in um, a martial art in years, but um, it was really nice to learn uh, ground moves um, because in karate we had never really done anything on the ground. We, we knew a couple throws, but I mean, I knew that if I had ever gotten into a fight, I would have a lot of trouble if someone were to take it to the ground, but now I feel a lot more comfortable. I even know a, a, like a lot of the terms and whatnot, and uh, if I ever like see an MMA fight, like I, I kind of have a feel for what's going on, like when they're on the ground and what they're doing and how intense it gets. Um, so that was good. But I mean, a couple years into my job, once I got my job in August of 2011, I mean, I put on the, uh, the, the 30 pounds that you get when you start something new like that. Uh, we had um, a five-star cafeteria, or that's what they say it is. Um, but the food was good. It was expensive. Um, it still is. I was just eating crazy amounts of food every day <laughs> and just sitting at a desk, which, um, you know, you do for school and stuff. But uh, that was like before I started, you know, working out, obviously. Um, anyway, uh, so that was that. And I've been working uh, at the same company since uh, 2011. So it's been... Uh, over four years now. Time flies. Um, I, I just, I couldn't um, stand living at my parents' house anymore. Um, so I ended up uh, using my first paycheck that I got uh, three weeks into the job to uh, put um, a security deposit for an apartment. So uh, I moved out um, and I lived there uh, for two years. And the rent, rent wanted to go up. <laughs> the, rent, <laughs> the rent went up. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just throwing my money away at this point. I could just go buy a house. So at the time, I was 23. Um, I was uh, dating this woman. And uh, I had a friend. So we were all going. We, the, the friend had told me that she wanted to move out of her uh, house as well. So, uh, and we had, we hung, we all three of us hung out all the time. So we had decided to all, uh, go get a house. Uh, my friend wanted to rent the house and I was like, well, that's, that's silly. Like we could just like buy one. I'll, I'll put it under my name because I was confident that I would have a job. Um, 
to su- support it if something were to happen to them. Uh, so we started looking for a house. Um, and I was very lucky to actually have my job because the company that I work at, um, I'm sure there's lots of other problems with companies out there. We're a manufacturing company. Um, the business just wasn't good. The company wasn't doing well. There's been a lot of layoffs. Um, I've survived all the rifts. Um, but you never, you never know. Like we, all of us at the company just worry that we could, it'll be our turn next. Like if you're not performing well, you'll, you're gone. Um, which I guess is how it should be. Uh, I mean, you should you should be doing good and earn your earn your stay. But it's just so hard to get a job, and then I had no idea that it would be hard to keep one either. So anyway, we went out searching for a house. I ended up uh, finding a house that was about a mile away from my parents' house, um, which it was a half a mile away from my friend's house. Uh, so we all uh, basically uh, got around it. We uh, bought it. It ended up being about $180,000 um, in a small town in Illinois. Uh, and I'm still here now, as you can see. Well, you wouldn't know that. Um, it's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, two uh, two-fireplace, detached, two-car garage. So I was pretty proud of it. And um, I've been making double payments on it, and uh, I'm about 40% paid it off already which is really nice because I've only been here for two years now um yeah whatever I got it September 2013 yeah yeah oh wow so over two years okay like two and a half now yeah we're getting there um so yeah we all ended up moving in here and then things uh kind of hit the fan uh, I might feel more comfortable talking about that uh, in later videos. I mean, if anyone's even interested. Right now, I don't have any people watching my videos. I'm just posting because I like to talk about stuff. Uh, so, uh, stuff went awry, and I ended up being alone in my house, and I've been alone here f for basically the entire time. So, I thought I was going to be getting, like, rent money from these two parties, but I ended up uh, having to pay for everything on my own, uh, so I leave sort of a, f a live sort of a frugal lifestyle. Um, and yeah, so that's basically where I'm at. Still working at the same place. Started working out. Um, so now I'm just you know living my life, taking it easy. Um, some of my other interests. Sorry, I'm just transitioning like that, but I wanted to get back on track because I wanted to talk about some of my other interests. So that was the the martial arts and the the weightlifting and whatnot, and how I'm stiff and I need to stretch. Um, other things are like uh, cooking and baking. I, I love uh, just trying new recipes that I see on um, the Discover part of Snapchat app. You can uh, scroll right. Um, if you have a smartphone and there's all these different things like I look at the taste made one and I uh, you know let's just try those recipes and stuff because some of it looks really cool and easy and I've always liked that kind of stuff like uh, it started off back before I even uh, graduated university I would go to my girlfriend's dorm and um, cheesecake was my favorite dessert so I started off by like I we can totally make cheesecake by ourselves like we don't need to go buy uh, this garbage like because I mean cheesecake is pretty darn expensive and when you don't have a job um, and you're still in college it's kind of hard um, so I uh, started off baking my own cheesecakes and they turned out really good and I liked making my own food and then uh, later on in my life when I got uh, into health I decided to try to you know like make all the food I eat instead of just like buying it from my work cafeteria or doing fast food so now I, I rarely eat fast food I try not to eat out a lot because I'm supporting this entire mortgage by myself which is way too much for one person in my opinion um, uh, so I, the, cooking and baking has just become part of my life as sort of a necessity and I love doing it so like if I go to a party or something or someone's house um, and they're they're working on cooking I'll I'll help them 
I mean, I, I just made cookies uh, over the weekend at a, at my girl my current girlfriend's house because, I mean, we were just all sitting around. Her sister was in town. And, I mean, like, that was just something that I could do to, to pass the time. So I just made it from scratch. I didn't um, even use a recipe. I just <laughs> put the ingredients that I knew it needed together and just I didn't measure it at all. I just you get a feel for it after a while. Um, when, when you cook a lot and you bake a lot, um, hmm. well, I've blabbed on enough for one day. I guess I can make a third part to my interests video tomorrow because I'm also into trading stocks and I can kind of explain how that works tomorrow. Um, uh, for, for those of you that don't really know how the stock market works, I don't fully know how it works, uh, but I know basically you buy at a low price and then you sell at a high price and your money will increase. But I'll, I'll go into more detail uh, with that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go to bed now. So you guys have a good night.